Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. We are starting this week in the life series on June the 6th. I have yet to have my other week in the lives posted because I do not have a thing to put my SD card in. So y'all are just going to be getting video after video. But we are officially, I'm going to say three weeks away from our Disney trip. So I've got quite a few different things I need to do today. Um, we have lots of laundry and things to do, dishes, gonna make some breakfast, um, gosh, my sides hurt. I went to the beach this past weekend, and I got a little sunburn, but my sides really hurt. But, um, dishes make bed, laundry, IRS forms for faf FAFSA, um, for myself and my husband. Need to order magic bands, got to finish straightening up that extra room, go back and pick up the kids. And I'm sick right now, so we're gonna take it at my own pace. But I've been washing my face more consistently now and trying to get a better skincare routine. I have the Tula products, but I really don't know if they're worth the hype or not. I mean, yes, my skin is soft, but it's more than just using the Tula. I have products I've gotten in my FabFitFun boxes that I have been using. And I've just been watching a lot of TikToks about skincare routines to amp up my skincare routines. Also, when this video is posted, hopefully by then I would have more than a thousand subscribers or be surpassed a thousand subscribers um, on TikTok. But right now I am at 998 and I literally started this TikTok journey with like 200 followers back in April. I have videos that have 5,000 views and I'm so blessed that like... I can kind of share my life and like things I love like hauls and outfits and cooking and life with my husband and my dog and things like that and that's why I love doing videos on YouTube now is because I'm sharing my life and I'm trying to realize that this is just share your life I'm not trying to paycheck the paycheck is nice I don't have the paycheck but I want to be able to look back and see wow this is what my life looked like when I first had a home like yes my home is messy but this is the reality of it and I'm blessed for what we have so, we're going to do a few different things, just straightening things up. I want to show you something real quick while I'm here. Our little, like, cabinet things on the wall broke off. Probably going to have to take the other ones down. So, I got this little cart. I'm going to see what I can show y'all. This little rolling cart from Target. Um, it's super cute. I kind of have to point my tripod down. It's super cute, and I really liked it just because... It had the three little levels, and I keep all of our washing things on top, and I'm going to put some cleaning things in the bottom, and probably some extra, like, dish rags in the bottom. I don't really know. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to decorate this, but it's so easy because I can just roll it back and forth, and it makes my life so much easier. But I'm going to make some breakfast. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Change. Come on, big boy. 
I kid you not, the laundry here never ends. There's a pile of laundry there, pile of laundry here. But while I'm here, I'll show y'all something that came in the mail yesterday, or actually came while I was gone. It's my Nikki Font package. I love her new packaging, but I got her duo set. I technically got a pink and blue one, but the shorts were too small, but the shirt fit. So I got a medium in the shirt. This is what it looks like. It's that seamless material, and I love it. And then, on top of that, I also have this, which are the purple shorts, and these are in a large, and I'm sure these will fit better, and if not, that's my sign to lose a little bit of weight. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Some shorts fit smaller than others. It's really just dependent on the waistband, but I'm going to try to make a reel of this. And like opening it, all of that stuff because I'm gonna try to post it so she has some content. Because I need content and I know she needs some content as well for her active wear. But it was super cute. I need to lay back on buying gym clothes because I have a lot of gym clothes. I kind of just need to reevaluate the clothes I have and go out there and go, okay, I wear these, I don't wear these, I wear these t shirts, I don't wear these t shirts, so on and so forth. But I like to buy clothes. I'm trying to get better about it this year and then on top of that just putting this out this is one of my favorite things it's my little lime life mirror and it is fully charged so turn it on you can turn the brightness up y'all can literally see that this has like freaking great brightness like look at that difference like if i put it behind here it's like a whole ring light but i think this would be really nice to like do my makeup and hopefully like y'all wouldn't be blinded by it but i think it's really great and it really blacks out the back and y'all can see it's got a little thing you put there but it's probably about to die and it also comes with like a little whoo it's got to focus back up now it also comes with a little stand as well he's just sitting there like mom what are you doing i let him up on the bed but i've got some laundry i need to do I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side, PCH got your limit I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I wanna visit Are you alive? I'll just breathe it Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side, PCH got your limit I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I wanna visit Are you alive?
Y'all, I'm, this is such a dumb thing to like get super choked up about. I love purses. I have a thing for purses and shoes. My husband has a thing for guns and like artillery, things like that. And I found this girl on TikTok and she has these Kate Spade satchels. I'm a Kate Spade lover through and through. I've had so many purses. I've gotten rid of some if I haven't used them and just rehome them. Um, I, my first big, I got on my first big girl tote. Um, I got it and it was a Kate Spade bag. I got it my senior year of high school. If I can find a picture of it, I will literally insert it. It was my favorite thing. I got the matching wallet, everything. And, um, I used that for a while, but I kind of kept it clean. I was more, I wanted smaller bags just at that age. And just, I wanted something ready to go. <coughs> well... I found this girl on TikTok. Her name is Emily. Emily Farlander, I think that's her name. And I found her recently. If it'll focus, that would be great. I found her recently. And she has these Kate Spade totes. And gosh, y'all, I'm texting my husband so much. But I love him so much. She has these medium satchels from Kate Spade. And I was looking on their surprise sale website. And there was this satchel, and I love it. I love green. I love colors. I want to have pops of colors of things. And this is the satchel. It is literally the freaking cutest thing ever. It is green. It is like almost an emerald green. And I sent the picture to my husband, and I said, it's freaking green. And then just, just telling him this, that, and the other. Um, I said, I don't know what it is about me in purses, but I get it from my mom. I'm willing to bet you TJ Maxx has this purse. And he read it and didn't say anything. And he texted me and was like, thank you for doing my laundry. The purse should be here by next week. And I was like, excuse me, what? He says, I love you and thank you for all that you do for our family. And I was like, well, you did what? And he said he got it for me, but he, I, he wanted to because I deserve it. Because someone's as selfless and honorable as you deserve to be treated to things you want. Literally, and it like it warms my heart up so much because I was reminiscing the other day about my relationships back in high school, and it came to mind. And it's not trying to like hold a grudge on anything, but it came to mind because the guy I used to date in high school I actually follow his now girlfriend, and I see a lot of the things he does for her. And, you know, I look at it and I'm like, I'm so glad he's found someone that he loves. And that he's happy. Like, that's all I could ever wish for someone who I once loved in the past. I think looking at it, though, from, like, high school Natalie, it's heartbreaking to see how when I was in high school, I put my heart into it so much and would give anything and everything off my back for someone. And I do the same thing for Matthew, if not more. Like, I would do so much more for Matthew. I told him, I'm like, I would give you everything I ever had for you to have the opportunities. I would put a halt on my life for you to go follow your dreams and to pre be able to provide for our family. That's just how I am. And I love him and he does so much for me. And it truly, like, seeing stuff like that, seeing the things he does for me, the way he surprises me, the little things he does, it truly warms my heart because it's so hard. 
looking at myself in the past, knowing that I put myself in situations where I allowed myself to be treated less than. So for you ladies that are struggling and feel like there's no hope, know that. There's someone out there that can treat you better and show you exactly how you are. And this isn't about a purse. It's the little things in life. It's the things like waking you up in the morning and waking you up with kisses, showing you that, hey, I love you and I'm willing to help you out in whatever way you can. I'm super stubborn. You could ask my husband. If I could get him on this right now, he would tell you I am the most stubborn person ever because I want to do everything on my own. I don't want help. I want to show everybody that I can be a handy woman and a good stay-at-home wife and one day be a stay-at-home mom and care for our puppy and do this, that, and the other and maintain my health and take care of everything. And I don't want to ask for help and a lot of times I get really stressed out with him because I feel like I'm doing it myself, but I'm putting it on myself to do it myself. But that's my little TED talk for now. I'm just super excited. That was super sweet of him. Um, I had a few little tears coming out, but just did that. Y'all, this is probably a terrible angle to have y'all at, but I seriously don't know if you see his hind legs. He always lays like this, and it is literally the cutest thing in the world. He looks like a little frog. It's now, it's stuff that I'll organize tomorrow. It's now, many hours later, it's 9.22, and we're getting ready to go to sleep. I just showered, just washed my face, did all that, lay in bed do this vlog tomorrow hopefully i'll have enough storage to get through the rest of this week so i've been dreaming on in my head like i've seen it a life worth living is a life with meaning i'll do what i love till my heart stops beating i'm feeding this demon got a taste and a waste bitterness in my face work a job every day till your dreams fade like a card, never change, play the game that we say, I need a break. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Please focus in on my face. There we go. Hopefully it focuses. I don't know. I never find out until I'm, like, getting ready to do this stuff. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. You probably hear noise going on. I watch South and Main Boutique on tiktok live if you follow me go follow them she always does get ready with me's in the morning and i listen she talks about her business how to start a boutique just different things and she talks about her life things she's been struggling with but i did the dishes this morning i um took fader out i um made the bed up all of that i don't have to see montage on it because it's literally what i do every day but I've got to fold more clothes today and do a few different things. We're probably going to take a trip to TJ Maxx and Sam's Club because I think I'm going to get a Sam's Club membership today. Also, gas is so much cheaper at Sam's Club, like drastically cheaper than a normal gas station. So, I was looking online last night. Of course, it changes based upon the gas station, but apparently, the Sam's Club near where we live, gas was $4.39. When I woke up this morning and went past Circle K, it was $4.69. That's a 30 cent difference. Love that. And it's cheaper than the gas station we normally go to on base. So, probably going to get that. And I don't know if I need to refill my laundry stuff yet or not. I'll show you guys. So, I have enough pear still to last me for a while. And I need one of the little, like, pump bottles so I'm not just pouring it. Also... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight Tide Pods left in here. So that's a problem. And then I use this stuff. These are washer whiffs, and I use them all the time whenever I, hi, sweet boy. I use them all the time whenever I do laundry. But the thing about this, this is some food, big boy. Because this gets expensive after a while. I use the downy beads normally between that and this. And this smells really good because I combine it with the, um, the laundry liquid that we have see if it'll show with the Scentsy laundry liquid I love this stuff it smells like the beach and I thought about getting this every few months like maybe every three months and just keeping it and kind of like cycling things out but I'm not sure I think I just probably end up getting like 
three of the laundry liquids in three tubs or something like that and keeping them here but I love my downy beads so I'm probably going to go and restock on some things today I need to charge my camera battery so y'all probably aren't going to see a lot in a little bit just because I want my camera to be alive and thriving whenever we go out today but I've got that plan I'm going to surprise Matthew with that um Sam's Club card and get him something also I want to look up how to do like a pantry here because if I can figure it out, what I would love to do is probably lay this laundry basket to the side, like so, like just lay it this way, roll this cart this way, or roll the cart behind, however, and I want to do a little pantry back here. I've got to figure it out because we don't really have pantry space here. We mainly just have some cabinets. So I'll turn around the camera and show you guys. But first, we'll kind of look here. Whoa, my camera just fell off this tripod. That's great. Um, back here, we just have the washing machine and the dryer. I have clothes on top because I don't dry some of my dresses. And then we have this long basket. This shorter basket's from our bedroom. And then we, I might see if we can put that in the bedroom because we're constantly going back and forth to the bedroom. So that might be in the closet. And then we have all the laundry liquids and stuff back here and his food. I would love to have like a pantry, like make a pantry here. I've just got to figure out how because of the space. Now we'd probably have to get rid of it come um, December. But I would love to find something that goes here. Because our space, literally, we have top cabinets. And all of these are full. So like, and I feel like if we had pantry space... The cabinets would be empty, but like things like the tortillas and like this, they don't have to sit in here. They can all be super organized or maybe I can allocate one little thing. Like we keep plates up here. I need to make my coffee bar because we have all these cups up here. There's something up there. There's something down there. There's pots and pans down there. There's stuff everywhere. So I've got to figure out what I want to do with all this stuff, but I'm probably going to charge my camera battery before we do any of that, just because I want you guys to be able to come along the day with me, just experience my day and what we're doing, but I do think I'm going to get that Sam's Club and just stock up on some things. Also, we're going to walk out here. Vader, come. So we have a little hallway closet. And I use this for our cleaning supplies, things like that. So I'll turn it this way. As you can see, the towels are not very graceful. The whole idea behind this was I had this shoe rack right back here. <clears throat> we'll see if that changes because it's either going to go in the room in our bedroom or stay in here. Then there's towels in here that I have folded, which I'm probably going to put all the towels on one shelf. And then on top, I normally do like the paper towels, cleaning supplies, and stuff like that. I really need to go through and like reorganize this. But y'all, I don't know what your opinion, the lighting on this isn't going to be the best. I don't know what your opinion on the Swiffer Sweeper is. I got the Swiffer Sweeper because I was like, okay, well this would be cool. I never got one like growing up because my mom really didn't like the Swiffer Sweepers and the pads. My dad was willing to, my mom not so much. And now that I have it, I don't mind it. It's just getting getting these and changing these out so much on top of getting the like spray thing is super expensive after a while. And <laughs> sorry, I'm so sick. And on top of that, there are other vacuum or other mops that like can steam and mop your floor at the same time. I don't know. It's just, it makes me wish I would have looked at mops more, not just grabbed something randomly. But it's done good. We've used it a lot. Vader used to have accidents all the time in the apartment. When we first got him, he doesn't have them nearly as much anymore. I think it's like every now and then if he's not taken out enough. But I try to stretch out how long he's taken out just because if something happens and I'm at work a little bit longer, I'm not going to be home for a while. But I'm looking for a mop. I'm going through life. I'm living life. Hoping to make it slowly but surely. But we're going to look at Sam's Club. If I go, it's probably going to be around 1 or 2 o'clock and then come back, unpack. It might be around lunchtime when he can take a nap and unpack, do all that stuff, and get today going just because 
the laundry never ends here. It never does. And that's okay. Like, the one or two loads a day is fine. It's just when it stacks up on the weekend when I'm not very happy with that. But we use the most clothes because you think about it. My husband, he goes to work. When he did PT in the morning, my husband would wear his PTs in the morning. He'd wear his uniforms in the evening. He'd get gym clothes on and then he'd wear whatever he'd wear to sleep. So that's like four different things and that was like five days a week. <clears throat> so it was a lot of clothes going through. Well now since he doesn't have PT as much, it's three things. And for me, it's typically two because I'll wear what I wear to the gym and kind of like wear that throughout the day. And then wear pajamas to go to sleep and that's it. And then you add in towels. You add in stuff like if Vader um, does only God knows to the blanket. Um, and like peas on stuff. Stuff like that. Spills. Cleaning. What are you getting up for? Um... So, yeah, I mean, well. Hey guys, backing it up a little bit. Airborne sweatshirt, Nike shorts, hokas, my big tote, my mom tote, my mom sunglasses. Can we have an outfit in the camera? I have my husband, my eye candy here. And you know, you gotta back up, you're too tall. And you know what today is? What? It's our five months of being married. It is, you're right. <laughs> I totally you remember, it. that's why I, that's why I said we're going to Sam's Club. <laughs> What's your outfit? I have a Salt Life t-shirt, I have a Fabletic shorts, I have I a Garmin watch, um, and then I have some Crocs. I gotta find him some new gibbets for his Crocs. So we're gonna go to Sam's Club. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday. We have quite a few different things going on today. Give me a second. So, it's Wednesday. I am having a busy day today just because I um, got home. Went to the gym and all, did all that good stuff. Chest and tries today. And then, I mean, it's just gonna be a busy day. But I've gotten a few things in the mail yesterday and like the past week. So I'll show you guys. So number one thing that I ordered was this little um, adapter thing. And it is just great. It has all these little ports in it and can plug into your Mac. I wonder if it can plug into an iPad. But love that. Went to TJ Maxx yesterday, grabbed a few things. First thing I got was this pull. Um, we talked about getting a little pool for Vader for out here for a while on our apartment patio and we haven't and I really didn't want to dish out 25 bucks on it because between him and maybe Oliver there's no telling But I love that. Super excited for that. And I also got three t-shirts while I was out. Two of them were for my husband. So I always find Lucky Brand shirts for him. They're always a steal. Especially at TJ Maxx. Lucky Brand has these softer shirts. So this is the first shirt I got him. It's just like this really like heathered. Kind of like worn out blue um, shirt. And it has the little buttons on the front. Three little buttons. Super soft. And this was $12.99. Yeah. Apparently it retails at it retails for $29.50 because they have the actual lucky brand tag here. Sometimes I don't have the actual tag and I don't really trust that it was $20. I know it's more than that because we bought plenty of lucky brand shirts before my figure out just snag that. But this is t-shirt number one. I'm just kind of tossing things back in as we go over it. T-shirt number two, which is for him, is once again another Lucky Brand shirt. 
Um, oh wow, this one actually was a really good steal. So this is, that other one was a brand that is by Lucky Brand. This one's pure Lucky Brand Los Angeles. It is a size large, it is gray, has the buttons on it. This retails for $39.50. I kid you not, tag says $39.50. I got it for $12.99 and y'all, Stop sleeping on brands in, um, in TJ Maxx because I learned this when I started looking through and looking at more TikToks about brands that are worth it. And when I was buying things for myself, I was like, you know, these aren't really great quality. And I bet you if I go to another store and find them, they're literally going to be like, what, like the same price, if not a little bit less than what this is. Um, or like maybe a little bit more. So I started watching more TikTok videos on, sorry, I just got an update from Octoly about a product. Getting, um, looking on TikTok about products that are worth it, especially like skincare and face care. I know a lot of people are like super weird about buying things from TJ Maxx that are like that. But I mean, if you want to try stuff and don't want to spend like 50 bucks on it, then you might as well try the TJ Maxx stuff. I'm condensing that because I'm going to put it up in a little bit. And then I got myself a t-shirt. I've had my eye on these t-shirts for a while. It is a Nike Team USA shirt from the Olympics. I love this. So I'm big on like, I like things that are comfy. I love men's t-shirts. I don't know what it is. It's just a bit of men's t-shirts that I really like. But, um... I found this. This is actually in the women's section. Like I said, it says USA. It has the USA Olympics logo on it. And then it has this like jersey type of material at the top. It is super soft, super comfortable. This is by Nike. And it is the Team USA t-shirt. Um, And this actually retails for $30. And I got it for $14.99. I would love to find this online and like kind of compare what the actual price is because i feel like it's a little bit more online so give me one second and we can see what we can find yeah so at asos it's on sale right now for 21 dollars, but it was originally 30 so honestly that's a steal i love it i'm probably gonna end up taking this to disney with us if i wear that pink tank one day this would be great to wear another part during the day i just want something really comfortable and cozy but that is all for like my mini haul right now when i go to the other rooms and start straightening things out i'll show you things i got from nick Vaughn and emily's boutique i have a purse coming in next week for my husband love that because i want to start inking up my purse collection again so i've got to figure out the details of like i'm not trying to be the kind of person that absolutely plans the bags i buy but i can't be buying bags every month who knows, maybe if I find something at TJ Maxx, I will. I follow this wonderful girl on TikTok. If you saw a few days ago, I was talking about her TikTok. She finds such great bags at TJ Maxx. I think she works at TJ Maxx, so she gets really good for her dips. Hey, don't break that. And she gets really great for her dips. Because, I mean, she works there, so she can see it. She can buy it. It's no harm, no foul, because the money's going right back into the business. But... My whole thing with, like, the bags where I live, I've looked for Kate Spade. I've looked for some Michael Kors. I've looked for some Coach and Steve Madden. I've had a really hard time finding those, and I'm not trying to be that person that's I need name brand. But I feel like you're getting a bang for your buck when you get some name brand. Now, I am all about off-brand things. Like, literally, this isn't, like, any specific brand. It's just a neoprene tote from a boutique that, um... Probably up charges for them because I can find another one because they need to make profit. I'm not going to get mad about that. But, like, I don't know. I want to find more bags. Um, once I get in this next bag, I am going to go through and kind of organize. I need to set the alarm. I'm going to go through and organize um, the bags that I have. Because I have this one. I have another one that just came in. Two small crossbodies. A Barrington tote. So I've got like three crossbodies, and it would technically be two totes and a tote crossbody medium size bag. So I've got about six bags, which is pretty good. I think I have like one or two wallets. I might have one. I honestly think it's one wallet. 
that I use all the time. It's my go-to and I actually have it in here somewhere. It's a Kate Spade wallet. I got it for Christmas and I love it. I got it for Christmas about two years ago and I've used it so much. My mom got it before I went out to California for the first time, which is exactly two years ago. But let me tell you, when it comes to my Kate Spade bags and bags like that, I live a bit of ways away from the outlet that's like closest to us. Actually, I want to see if I can find an outlet that's closer to us because I'm willing to bet you there is a, a Kate Spade outlet near me. Yeah, never mind. It's actually like an hour away from me, I want to say. I'm just talking to y'all a lot this morning, but it's okay about 46 miles away 50 minutes away okay honestly that's worth it to drive that hour and get some shopping done do all that it's about the same distance from my mom and dad's house to the outlet Vader, come. but we go into coach and kate spade when we're there i think they just opened a michael kors store up there is one michael kors bag i would love like i can literally show you bags i would love right now okay so, it is this bag right here. I honestly love it. The bag in the back looks like a dupe for the, um, this bag in the back looks like a dupe for the Mark Jacobs one. But I love this one. I'm not big on, like, Michael Kors all over everything, but I feel like just the pattern of it is super cute. So, I would love one of those. There is a Mark Jacobs bag that I really would love. So, I want to find a pattern of the tote that I want. I really like this one, but I kind of want to find a different one because I feel like that one's basic. I feel like everybody has these, but it's the tote bag by Mark Jacobs. Love that. Give me one second so I can make sure my dog doesn't move in with us. And then there's another Mark Jacobs bag. I don't know. I'm just trying to branch out with the Marc Jacobs bag. Oh wow, they actually have them on record. That's pretty cool. So I'm trying to figure out like bags. Do I want like to stay neutral? Do I want pops of color? Things like that. But essentially what it is is it's like a little, it's called Marc Jacobs a snapshot bag. It's like a very little, um, let me see if I can stand this way. Maybe it'll show better. A very little crossbody. And it has, like, a thick strap to it. I actually just got a Vintage Havana bag that came in. Vintage Havana, let me tell you, I've got under Vintage Havana shoes and a purse. They are dupes to Golden Goose. Yes, they still are a little expensive. They're probably, like, $100. But $100 is better than $500 Golden Goose. So, don't get me wrong. I don't own Golden Gooses. If the opportunity ever came up and I had the money to where I had enough money plus more to have Golden Goose shoes and not feel like I just spent my whole entire paycheck on them, I would get some. But for now, that's a no-no because I have a little baby that I'm spending money on. I have myself, and then I have my husband, and I always treat my husband to things. But I'm going to do dishes, finish laundry up. I um, I moved some things in this little corner. So I've got to finish wa washing what's in this corner and um, organize that extra room. My sister should be up here sometime today because I think her and her husband are going shopping. And she's actually back stateside. She's in the Air Force. So... May see her today, sometime, may not, depending on what time she gets here. And then going to have dinner with my husband tonight. Going to finish taking a few notes on my Bible study I did this morning. And then, and then oh, just going to do some basic things. Take him outside, play with the little boy a little bit. He looks sad. Did you finish all your food? That's very sad times. And then... Like I said, I finally got a Sam's Club membership yesterday. They had a deal for $14. I probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more loads of laundry to do before I'm officially out of this stuff. I'm hoping I kind of get to babysit this weekend so I can just take that cash that I make this weekend and hit up Sam's Club that morning. Um, and do that just because I would love to just get some laundry products. I really want to go ahead and get all my laundry products that I'm going to be using. So, like, dryer sheets, we're good on dryer sheets. I'm not worried about dryer sheets. It's things like the Tide Pods. They have a big pack of Tide Pods for about, like, 20 bucks. 
the toilet paper, the paper towels, and then I need some more of our little like, um, I don't dryer dress. What are they called? The like gain beads, those type of things, the tied beads, whatever they are. I use those. I love them just because they make our clothes smell so good. And the Scentsy stuff I have is so good. I love them too. I kind of like to change them out. You can add them both in. I'm tempted to just do both just because I love our clothes. They smell really good. And then I also use the Perso. Um, I might wait till it gets a little bit towards the bottom to get some more. But this stuff also makes your clothes smell really good. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize this. I'm also trying to figure out if my parents are getting rid of their hutch because I would love a coffee bar sometimes too because all those mugs are knotted up there. And I want to add more mugs. I want to get more of like the Starbucks cups too and like the glass cans and get them vinyl and all that stuff. But I'm going to do laundry. I'm going to stop talking because I've been talking for 14 minutes. It's going to be a very, very, very long vlog because it is Wednesday. And I know I have probably talked for like... 25 minutes out of them. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I Yay. have friends on the TV. I was playing in the background while I was trying to nap oh, oh. before my husband got home. I have the wonderful husband home yes. Hello. at 11 o'clock today, which is nice yes. that he's home earlier. Yes. He tax, now. Tax money on and then I have Vader. Oh, we are going to take Fader on a walk. I'm like, what? Does this take a? I was trying to figure out if this took pictures while you're vlogging. If this takes pictures while you vlog, that will be a game changer for Disney. I need to figure that out though. But we're gonna go take the big boy for a walk. The sliding's really good. Somewhere. You probably set it down whenever you. Right Star Wars shirt from H&M. Lighting is terrible. Star Wars shirt H&M. Shorts are Nikki font. They're purple. They're cute. I just need some shorts on. <laughs> Husband is Bumble. Okay, guys. We are back from the gym. Um, I'm tired. We did upper body today it was rough it's now 3 15 good workout though um we just ran out of toilet paper so we used our last two rolls in our guest bathroom and our main bathroom and um we kind of go back and forth so if we're in the living room we run to that guest bathroom first if we're in our bedroom we always get to this bathroom we're officially out of toilet paper and I actually need more deodorant. I've been using Matthew's deodorant, the Old Spice deodorant. But I've got to look up this degree women's deodorant. Um, I don't want a natural deodorant. I want like a artificial deodorant. So bad. But um, I've got to do that. And probably order some toilet paper and get it picked up to eat lunch because my husband made me lunch gotta go to work about an hour and a half and then come home hopefully go to sleep early tonight and get through friday because tomorrow's friday which means it's the end of the week in my life vlog and we started all over again and get ready to go to disney so i've got to order magic bands don't oh, gosh i feel like i've said every single day of the week magic bands magic bands magic bands maybe i'll do that in a few minutes is order our magic bands but we go eat lunch and i hope you'll enjoy the rest of your thursday Happy Friday! I can't tell y'all how happy I am that it is Friday. Just because it has been a week. Vader, come! Come on! Come on! I know you can get up here on your own, but I'm gonna help you. Good boy. It has been a week. I have shorts on, I promise. Um... Hit some highlights of the week. First, let me set the alarm. So, please don't chew my blankie up. No blankie chew. No blankie chew. Take your toy. Ha! Okay. So he doesn't chew it up. Um, I hit 1K on TikTok. I've been going live. I got my first gift on TikTok, which was a whopping 10 cents. But that's progress. It's something. Um. 
I'm probably gonna play working on this vlog. I've got clothes to put up, so I've got my basket of clothes here. I've gotta unpack my suitcase for the beach this past weekend and just Um, but I'm gonna unpack, I've gotta clean the house. Off to day. Let me tell you, I worked until about nine this morning. And now I had this sweet puppy with me. He's gnawing on everything. But I got off um at nine. It's now ten thirty. Excuse me, I have the burps. But I'm gonna clean today. I think I'm gonna go pick up a dress in Benson that I had bought from a lady. If I don't get it today, I will honestly get it sometime soon. I mean, with all of that being said, it's one of those things where like, I've gotta clean. All these clothes I'm, are gonna have to go in that room. I've got a few more things. I need to add to a list that I need to get from Sam from Sam's Club. And then I have a list of things that I probably have to start like compiling together for Disney. And looking at my schedule, so I have a four day this weekend. So technically today is part of the four day. So I'm off Monday, <clears throat> going to work Tuesday, work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, may or may not be working Friday, and then I'm off Monday, which is super cool, <clears throat> and then I work that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the next thing we know, that following Monday, we're at Disney. So, I think I'll have this Week in the Life vlog up sometime, like hopefully it'll be like Tuesday or Thursday by the time y'all see this. And then the next week I'll have the next week in the life vlog up from this next week. And then I'm going to do a Disney packing video because like pack and prep for Disney just because I don't really don't want to do a week in the life video for Disney just to do a separate pack video. So we're going to do like, a, it's, it's essentially going to be like a week in the life, but it's pack, pack and prep. And then we'll have Disney vlogs up. So I'll probably do a, um, a like five day vlog <clears throat> but they're gonna be different parts which it'll probably take up all of july by the time i record them the five different parts through august and by that time i'll end up probably having two up like uploads like two uploads a week probably just depends depends on how my editing goes but um because i'll have a week off when we get back i've not been able to finish this vlog because I completely ran out of space on my SD card, which makes sense because I probably had well over like three to four hours of footage. I'm so tired, but it's Monday of the next week. So it's Monday the 13th and we're finishing up this vlog. I have make it or break it on I'm recording. I am editing. I'm trying to get it all done so I can completely wipe out my SD card and just start off brand new so super excited that i'm tired it's been a week but we're making it so i hope y'all enjoy all these videos and try to work on the long vlogs just because they are a little hard so y'all have a great week and i hope you enjoy my vlog